Hello everyone, it's Philip from Limitless and I'm here with Brian Peach, who just finished second at the, at the regional in Birmingham. First off, congratulations Brian. Thank you. You played a very unique and interesting deck. I think people would like to hear from you. Why did you choose this deck and what were you thinking going into this tournament? Well, this was a very last minute choice. I was testing Gab Drampa online, just on TCG, and I came across somebody playing Zora and I got absolutely bodied by it. And this got me thinking, why don't I play that? A lot of other people were playing Gab. If I've got a good matchup, so be it. So I started testing some weird versions with Zora. Played it with Coco and some other variants, but I found you want consistency to get to the break. So I tried to streamline it as much as I could so I can get to that final stage and start doing what Zorak does best and stealing their attacks. Yeah. Um. So throughout the tournament, it's worked really well. Um, quite commonly I'd find myself doing Bridget turn 1 as much as I could. I'd really dig to get that turn 1 Bridget just to get the maximum bench size and then slowly start building up from there. Yeah, that's, that's really an interesting approach to this deck. Like, it looks a little as if you'd play Grandpa Garbodor, just replacing the Garbodor with Zorak. <laughs> yeah. And here you also have the artillery for consistency, I guess. Yeah. Every time I would just dig back when rage with Bridget turn one. So it's so important to get back to Lee out, because I'd find my opponent would take prizes quite quickly from me. So I'd try to punish them with N and then draw more with artillery myself to try and keep up. And that really works. Artillery was probably the best card in this deck, <laughs> hands down. Yeah, it's a really great card. Yeah. So when asking about a specific card choices in this deck, I don't even know where to start because like <laughs> everything looks so unique. Yeah. It's, you basically only have Zorak as your main attack, but actually, yeah, I guess Lele and Drampa both are great attackers too. And Drampa has worked really well as an attacker, especially with the Rainbow Energies, so yeah. I can make sure that I can always do the Berserk for 180 with the Choice Bond, so that works really well. Um, Alright, then we have your supporter line, which is um, quite interesting as well, because you are, uh, on the one hand you have a big diversity of supporters, like X Maniac Delinquent, Hala, Team Mates. Uh, you, al you also have double Kukui, double Bridget. So, why did you make these choices, for example? Okay. Um, in testing, I found if I only played one Bridget and it was prized, I'd have a really big struggle to set up a strong bench. So, I put two in, and then for some reason the numbers were really nice. I kept seeing it more and more often in my opening hands. That Ultra Ball became a Lele straight into Bridget, and I had everything I needed to set up, which was really, really good. Um, for Kukui, I would find that sometimes I would lose the choice band to field blowers, so my Zora attacking with my opponent's full bench would only hit 160 as the cap, so that Kukui would give me those vital numbers. Um, you might have seen it on stream when I was playing against Ninetales, I have to one shot it. So, so, but being able to steal their attack with um, Zora, having the choice band and Kukui, I can hit 210, which is a, a really nice number for one energy. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> really good. It's really um, impressive. The Halo was in there for when I used Drampa. I'd quite often found myself doing big wheel really early on, either just to have a really strong um, turn one, force my opponent to end, and then I've got a really consistent shuffle and draw seven cards in my deck back in VSC before whenever I needed it. Yeah, alright. Um, so, you built this deck of Fury, you would test it a little, and you had a really great run in this Day, so. I, I dodged some really bad matchups. Oh, right. It's always matchup dependent, so I managed to dodge all the dark prize, I dodged all the fighting types. <laughs> I had a pretty lucky one to be fair, but the matchups I did play, such as um, Nine Tails Sidurai, Nine Tails, they got quite close, but being able to steal the attacks and throw back at them yeah. really did help. Yeah, it's out. really great to do so much damage for just one energy. And as soon as they flip over a Trubbish, knowing that I've got a really good matchup, so I can berserk for one energy, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, so looking back, at, looking back at the tournament, would, are there any changes you would like to make in your deck list or um, did you feel really fine with it and would you say that this is the optimal build for you? Well, it, it did play really, really well to be fair. Um, if I was to make any changes just in test, I would possibly drop the Halle and test out a Mallow because I would always have artillery out. That's one of the key things to try and dig out and being able to choose any two cards you want back from your deck is pretty big rather than getting the KO, so I'd like to test that, see how it works. It could work really well, it might not, but i test it. Alright, so congratulations again. Thank you. Usually you, you used to judge a lot and yeah. now you proved yourself as a player, so that's a very impressive tournament and yeah, I hope to see you in the future. Yeah.
normally I'll be judging a lot more as well, so but that, that's my aim is to judge well, so I'm going to keep trying to strive on that. This tournament I did get picked to judge, so I thought I'd play it, see what, see what it's like, so I did well. Alright, so see you guys next time. Okay, thank you.